SWAT! Hey guys, we're back to Dark Souls. I'm very sorry I didn't record this week. Uh, for those of you that are watching the episodes in sequential order and don't really care about this bullshit, sorry. But, um... For those of you keeping up with the series and watching the episodes as they're coming out, I've taken a little bit of an impromptu break. Uh, it... And, um... I didn't really announce that beforehand, it was just kind of a, an at-the-time sort of thing where I just wanted to take a break from recording. I think I burned myself out, so I might go back to doing uh, once-a-day uploads instead of twice-a-day. Because while that- oh sh- god damn it! While that is fun to do uh, two series at once, it's a lot of burnout on me. So, we'll switch it up a little bit, I guess, um, for those of you that are enjoying Stick of Truth and Dark Souls as well. Every other day might be good for doing that, but I'll have to see after I record this. Because I wanted to, pl I wanted to play Dark Souls first, <laughs> um, on account of Dark Souls it takes a lot more concentration, and I can just kind of relax and play Stick of Truth. And that's how I kill the <laughs> that skeleton most times when I come up here, is I just let him knock himself off. Okay, so around this corner here. We're gonna run into the rats, and rats can be very deceptively dangerous. So what, what I do to kill the rats around this corner is I kind of pull them back eh, and take a, take care of them when I've got where I've got plenty of room. Because over there, if you try to kill them while you're in that little hallway or whatever, um you can have that happen where you don't actually hit them and your sword bounces off the wall and then they just kind of maul you with their toxic damage and you don't want these things to land a hit on you like period because they suck ass this little guy eh, screw you rat luckily I was very good at killing them and didn't get poisoned okay all good so far our armor's really shitty uh, I haven't replaced our armor yet because I'm hoping to get better on this run. We're not going to be doing a boss anytime soon. We're going to be preparing for bosses. We're still not done with our gearing up strategy. And at the top of this staircase is going to be a guy. Another Black Knight. But now that we have this sword, he's going to be a lot easier to murder. Boom! Hey, hey, how you feeling? <laughs> I didn't even need to do that. I was just being a dick. God, I'm such an asshole. Oh, Drake Sword's very helpful um, this early, but don't get too attached to it. Don't make the mistake of getting too attached to it. That special overhand attack actually is a durability hindering... Um, strike so you don't want to use the power attacks with the drake sword too often and another thing i noticed is i completely forgot to explain how the stamina system works when i first played dark souls i wish someone had explained the stamina system to me a little bit better um i've been doing all this shit without really going into it and that's a pretty massive oversight on my part so i'll just quickly explain um the reason I kind of back off between attacks is because I'm letting that little green bar underneath my health bar regenerate. Because once that runs out, you basically can't do anything. If someone hits you and it drains all your stamina while you've got your shield up, it leaves you vulnerable, so, you know, a bunch of other stuff like that. It's very bad. So, we are going to try to mind our stamina as much as possible and get a lot of items that regenerate stamina as they're very helpful we can attack for longer and we uh, recover quicker from um, a bunch of nonsense okay buddy let's get around this guy dodging arrows I hate those two over there this is kind of a cool challenge actually if I can yeah! Woo shit! As you can see, I can block these arrows, but they do start to plink away at my um, stamina after a time. 
but because I've got this over oh shit no 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 oh god <laughs> did not mean to fall down there that was bad uh, that big old big old butthead we just kind of want to avoid him I don't really we can kill him I mean he's perfectly killable but he's kind of more of a pain in the butt than he's worth I always sort of just avoid him He's just kind of annoying. But I don't know. We could plink at him. We can play with him. That might be our first fun death. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Can I throw a fireball at you? Whoosh! Um, no, that was a miss. Complete miss. Good, good. Okay. Let's try a little closer. Uh, also a complete miss. We seem to be using our fireballs very well. Very well. Um, let's try again. Fireball. Yeah, did uh, yeah, we can kill him. Fireballs. Just oh, oh, maybe we can't. Maybe I'm gonna be bad, and I swear to God, <laughs> come on, <laughs> through that little crack. Thank you. Well, I'm out of fireballs. Lovely. How utterly idiotic. Okay. Let's see if we can can eh. set him on fire. And just kill him like that. You ran a really good direction, buddy. I've had a lot of crazy luck on this playthrough. Has anyone noticed that? Like, I I haven't really run into what I would call trouble yet. And I don't think it's so much me being good at the game and knowing what I'm doing so much as just getting really lucky. Like, that bull guy ran straight into that fire like it's it was the best possible way for him to go for me all right anyway this guy is going to lead us up and normally you would chase after him if you were a new player and get ambushed but we're a little bit more careful than that and we're gonna sit back and wait for a couple more to come to us giving us a lot of room to swing on the right wall there and then using our strategy to back off and attack these things giving us plenty of stamina to work with stamina stamina no 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 stamina also uh it's worth noting if you're used to other games where armor affects your casting ability that is not so much the case in this game if you have the ability to cast something and you're wearing heavy armor it doesn't dampen it it's just in order to cast things, usually you need different stats, and that would make it so you can't put on heavy armor, but eventually you would get to a point in this game where um, you could wear full Havels, which is a very heavy armor set, and like cast every single spell in the game if you really wanted to. Um, and there would be no detriment to that. All right, so we just picked up a mystery key which is aptly named. I'm not going to spoil what that does just yet. Let's see. Head up here. Got two guys. He's going to come at me. Block and get this dude. The shield is really awesome. Super lucky find for me. If you don't get as lucky as I did in your playthrough and you're like wondering what to do because you don't have the same shield I have, um, you can skip that Black Knight. You don't actually have to wail at him. Um, you can come back to pretty much all the Black Knights whenever you feel a little bit more prepared. Okay. That was making me a little nervous for a second. Also, um, this game no longer... I meant to mention this earlier. I think I got distracted mid-thought. Mid um, this game no longer works on Windows Live. It is now completely available on Steamworks. I imported my save game to the Steamworks version of Dark Souls. And that is what I'm playing on right now. And I actually have to say it seems to have taken the lag down. Um, because the, uh, the Windows Live interface is no longer clogging up things. Okay. These knights are a little tricky. Let me see if I can just bum rush! Oh my god, that didn't work. Ah. Oh my god. Don't hit it. Ooh. Shoo foof. Okay. 
there we go. They do a lot of damage really quickly if you're not paying attention. This knight shield right here, I think, let me double check. Uh, wait a minute. I forgot what buttons do. Yeah, that knight shield's also 100% physical resistance. So it's perfectly, it, it, it would be just as good as the one I'm using, but I'm gonna keep using the black knight shield because it has more fire resist. And I don't remember a lot of magic damage happening around here. So it will be the optimal shield for now. Let's see. 